the ad show. Yes, we are back and we are back for another sales update, but uh, it was recorded a while ago and I didn't get around to editing it because of, you know, all the stuff going on at the moment. I won't go into that or digress or anything like that. But yeah, so sales update. God knows what's on the sales update. I haven't a clue. Uh, it's been, as I say, it's been a while since I recorded it, so I don't know. Um, also, I'm going to do a video uh, soon because I've not sorted it all out yet, but I'm going to do a video soon on banknote collecting because apparently I'm a conservative now and as all good conservatives do, they become numismatists. So yeah, that's what I'm doing. I'm doing a banknote video, so I'll do that, you know, it'll probably be four weeks in the future, so I don't even know. At this point, YouTube and stuff, it's all up in the air, things are going on, things are happening elsewhere. Oh no, I'm rhyming again. I didn't plan that. With the, wait, we stopped the rhyming. Stop, right, anyway. So, things are up in the air, so I'm not concentrating on YouTube as much, but uh, don't worry, there will be videos in the future. Anyway, what is this introduction? Banknote video coming soon. This is a sales update. Get ready for it. It's coming in five, four, three, two, one, now. Oh yeah, and, and don't forget to subscribe as well. Cheers. Right guys, I've got to be very quick with this sales update. So, with that being said, first item here is this vintage Enid Blyton large collection of children's storybooks. Had these quite a while. You can see we went for £25.64 plus £7.99 postage, which is awesome. Did take ages and ages to go, but I'm glad they're finally sold. They are hardback books here. Uh, I don't know how many in total. What's that? 12, 15 in total. So, yeah, quite good. Quite, quite happy with that. Uh, someone will no doubt love those. Next, we've got this Vintage Teachers Highland Cream Whiskey sort of engraved uh, copper tray there, as you can see. I think I got this in a auction job lot. Probably didn't cost me hardly anything, obviously, as an individual item in that job lot. Maybe 50p, a quid at most, something like that. 20 quid I got for that one, so I was pretty happy with that little sale there. You can see it's only a small one, uh, 20, well, 20 centimetres across, so it's not incredibly, incredibly small, but nice little tray there anyway. Uh, so that's that one. Next, we've got this vintage Viner's ornate round large engraved design. Serving plate, platter, bowl, all that sort of stuff. I don't know whether this one was meant to have a lid on it or something like that i'm really not sure it look kind of looks like the um type of style of bowl that would have a lid on potentially um but i'm not sure anyway but still they there as you can see 2204 plus postage for that one so i was more than happy with that uh, see if you can see that there so 32 centimeters across there so um fair you know a fairly big tray fairly substantial uh, nice little designs on it as well on the corners there or round the edges it doesn't actually have corners but you know what i mean round the edges so yeah that was quite nice next we've got this vintage i do not know why i've put vintage i've messed up on that one but this ahsoka tano uh star wars force of destiny 12 inch figure new and sealed i got this for five pound if i remember correctly from the entertainer toy shop it was kind of we were discounting these uh, and you can see at 29.99 for this figure so that was a really good little bit of ra wish i would have picked up more of them now because i only picked up two or three or some, something like that anyway but i wish i would have picked up more of them but i wasn't a hundred percent convinced that these would do incredibly well because at the time they were going for 15 quid something like that maybe 20 quid but the price has since come up a little bit and yeah now i'm thinking oh god why didn't i just trust my instincts and and buy about five ten or however many were on the shelf but yeah still 29 out of that five quid can't really complain uh, next we've got this vintage handmade wooden pestle and mortar or pestle don't know how you say it. i think it's pestle pestle and mortar kitchen utensil again would have got this in a wooden job lot from an auction maybe a quid cost to me something like that 12.99 plus postage lovely little bread and butter item keep your eyes peeled for these in auction job lots and things like that where you can get them for just a quid or two quid or something like that uh they will be brilliant little uh, items to get might take a little bit to sell but still it's always like nice little bread and butter items to have on your store next is vintage uh, disney store not vintage sorry but just uh, disney store i'm so used to saying vintage that i always say it disney store tigger 3d mug 
16.99 free post on that. I believe I paid three pound for this one in a charity shop, either two or three pound. Can't remember correctly, but we'll go with the more expensive of the two. So three pound this one into 17 quid. Obviously, this one was possibly a bit more sought after, and so that's why it made a little bit more money. Maybe some of these go for around 12 quid, 11.99, 12.99, something like that. But this one got a little bit more. It's quite a big mug as well. Quite a, in terms of the inside, it was quite big. I don't know whether you can see it that well on the photos but the inside was was pretty big you can see it says like disney store on the side there we go it's come up disney store on the side there so yeah 16.99 for that one next we've got this ordnance survey wedding and newbury fifth edition cloth folded map uh so this was 9.95 i got a huge job lot of maps and things like that for like a tenner at the auction and I have made a lot of money off them. I'm still making money. I've still got plenty of maps to sell all on for around a tenner. And this one with one one that went for a tenner doesn't owe me anything at this point. I'm in profit on the auction job lot. So 10 quid for that. More than happy with that. Obviously, after posting fees, that will be pure profit. Next, got a really, really nice sale. Vintage Meccano Enthusiast Construction Parts Pieces. Spares Job Lot Bundle. It went all the way up. To 101 quid plus postage. I whacked this on for about 4.99, 9.99 on auction. I had it in my lockup for ages. Now this came to me in a job lot, a huge job lot of vintage games and Meccano and bits and bobs and all the rest of it for about £30 or £35 plus commission at the auction. Uh, and so to get £101 on this item, considering I'm already in profit on that job lot anyway because I've, I've had loads of games and stuff that I've listed and sold from that job lot. So, yeah, 101 quid for this. I was more than happy with that. So that was a lovely little sale. And if I had actually, I was potentially might have put this on buy it now. And I might have only gone 20 or 30 quid on buy it now. So, yeah, I'm like, yeah, glad I just whacked it on auction and just got it gone essentially that way. And there was no chance of me underselling it too much. So, yeah, that was really, really cool. Next, we've got the story of Broadcasting House. This is a new and sealed book. Home of the BBC, Mark Hines, £81.51 on auction. I paid £6 in a charity shop ages ago. I was going to sell it on Amazon. I don't know for how much, maybe around 50, 60 quid, something like that. I think it was coming in at brand new and sealed. But you can see on eBay here, I got 81 quid plus post. So, yeah, so glad I just whacked that on the photography area and snapped a photo of that. I had this sat in a pile just not doing anything for ages and ages and ages and it just shows sometimes you have gems in your pile that you might not even know about you might not think are actually as worth as much as you think and uh, yeah they do go for good money so that was really cool to get 81 quid out of that next got his vintage heavy brass art deco art nouveau mermaid table centerpiece got this in a brass job lot Probably, uh, I'm probably now in profit on the job lot to be honest, but even if I'm not, as an in individual cost out of the job lot, this maybe will have cost me three or four quid maximum, and that is going high. Um, but yeah, so about three or four quid individual cost. I didn't get 44.99, it's been on for quite a while. I accepted an offer of 29.99 plus post. I'm trying to get things out, as you know, before I go to university, so I was more than happy just to accept a lower offer on this one. But this is a beautiful little thing. I mean, you can see, look at that. It's, it really is lovely. I mean, it's not incredibly, incredibly well detailed or anything like that. But it's just lovely. I just think it's a lovely little piece. Um, and I wasn't sure whether it was kind of Art Nouveau, Art Deco. I suppose it's more Art Nouveau, Nouveau than Art Deco. But I put them both in the title there. But yeah, really, really lovely. Lovely little piece. Um, and yeah. I, I mean, I just thought it was really cool. Uh, and you can see there as well, uh, it's like 21 centimetres, something like that. So I was really, really happy with that little piece. Uh, 29.99 on that one there, so that was pretty cool. Uh, and with that being said, I think that's all the sales for today. So thank you very much for joining me, guys. If you haven't already, then please do consider subscribing. I'm not doing as regular content on the channel, but I am back every now and then with a video uh, once every couple of weeks aside from the live show that I'm doing on a Thursday. So stay tuned and I will be doing more regular content as we get closer to me going off to uni. But at the moment, I am swamped with loads of different stuff. So I'm not having as much time for this channel specifically. 
but don't worry, we will be back very soon with even more regular content, but for now, as I say, we are still doing content just at a slower pace, so bear with me, and we will get on to a better kind of schedule uh, in a few months' time. So with that being said, I will leave it there, guys, and I will see you very soon.